So this right here is uh, Mama. She's from uh, Georgianian. Georgianian. Georgia. Okay, and she lives uh, full time in this van with her daughter. So we're gonna take a look. She's gonna give us that score. She's a little shy, and she got a little doggy there. Let's take a look, Mama. Go ahead. That's okay. And so this is a, a custom conversion. It looks oh, like. It's not yet. It's not not fully converted yet. Yeah. Okay. We take you it's show me. Be... It's beautiful outside. You show me. I'm your guest. I love the windows. They're like bus windows, but have a dark tint. This is the cab. Oh, this is nice. So this is the cab. It has like a custom, um, excuse the dog there, it has like custom uh, seating there. Very nice cab. Everything you need, and it does have, we'll walk in, the pass-through. So again, this is like a bus conversion. Very cute. What year is this, Mama? You don't know? Okay, that's okay. And then the, the windows slide open just like a regular bus. Okay. It's going to so, be rain one day. Yep, yeah, so they're going to convert it one day. They just got this, I believe. Uh, again, a mother and a daughter. And they're probably going to take these seats out and put like a bedding and put a kitchen out. But it's a beautiful space to work with. Look at all the windows. That's what really, yeah, the windows are beautiful because you can open all those up. You get great air. And you got an air conditioning back here up top. So I could fully stand up. I'm just about uh, a little under six foot. So you could probably be like six foot two and stand in here. And uh, you have plenty of room, but it does require work to build it out. And mama was telling me that, you know, there is a hassle going back and forth to campgrounds, campground fees and finding campgrounds. See these little sliders here, they slide open so you get great cross ventilation. And, uh, so plenty of seating. That's okay. You can let the dog bark. I, that's okay. Let him be. And then you got storage above head. And again, this is your cab. Uh, I believe it's a Freightliner. It's a Mercedes. Mercedes uh, Sprinter Freightliner is the chassis. Diesel. So that's a little bit more maintenance. And you'd have to be mindful of that. It's got like little puck lighting. So, you know, the issue, I guess, would be like gas mileage. Uh, parking fees but other than that I mean you have basically a house on wheels but uh, how is it to drive is it comfortable to drive or too big I drive. you drive she drives it so but the I think the best thing here is all these windows I mean you have just a great view of anywhere you go uh, you got heating and cooling well is that heating too or just yes, cooling heating. Yeah, well we're in Florida yeah you probably don't need to heat but that's just cooling and you can make this to whatever you want. Yeah. I mean, that's the key thing. You have to be like an artist or a hands-on person. It's a project. It's a project. I am very much not that. I'm a very simple, basic guy. I hate projects at this point in my life as a middle-aged man. So you have to ask yourself, I guess, what type of personality you have, what type of budget. Because uh, obviously I live in a Jeep, so it's very cheap to go in and out wherever I want. But once you commit to like a, a comfortable RV like this or self-conversion, you're committing to more cost to build it out and to park it. Now here's the steps. Let's take a look outside. It's a beautiful van. Again, it's a diesel, but you got plenty of room. And especially even if you were handicapped, you could put a ramp there. Like if I was ever like with my mom camping or something, you could put a ramp there. And uh, I think it's got two wheels in the back too, right? Four wheels, yeah. See that's so you got to maintain four in the back, two in the front, and again you got all these windows. But it's a beautiful. Uh, I, I would say footage-wise, it's probably about 20 feet long. 20 feet long, sitting on a diesel Sprinter 3500 chassis. Uh, it's going to be a custom-built van. They just purchased it. Um, so it's again you got to be an artist you got to be a project manager you got to be willing to put in the work and to spend the money not just to build it out but again you're not really going to be too stealth could you park that could you park that at uh, can uh, could you park it at uh, Planet Fitness uh, at Walmart sure and you can get away for a couple nights but it'd be very hard to sustain that and you're gonna have to constantly move so that means money and gas because that's you know even though diesels are more efficient 
every mile you put on a vehicle it depreciates in value even though in times of inflation still and uh i think it's beautiful that she's a beautiful woman uh her and her daughter are very nice they've been very kind to me and i appreciate that uh but for someone who is willing to put in some build it'd be good how long have you had this mama you don't want to talk i she won't talk and uh but either way leave a comment below let me know if you would um buy a van to build it out um and Three days she just got. She's a great woman. Three days. She gave me coconuts too. She's very nice. Very nice person. And, uh, but it's, you know, I don't know. Everyone has a different way to travel. My motto after four years living on the road in a Jeep is try to keep it simple. Uh, but I do lack comfort. This has comfort. So it's a matter of your age. It's a matter of your budget. It's a matter of your personality. Uh, who are you traveling with? See, they got a dog too. So they got a mother, a daughter, two dogs, or one dog. And so all that plays a factor. I'm a single person. So either way, I just want to show you guys another way. And I see it a lot in Florida. There's regular RVs that are already built out by the manufacturer. And then there's custom conversions. And this was just purchased with the idea of becoming a, a custom um, build out. So... Uh, you know, it has its pros and its cons. Again, leave a message down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, would you buy it? And I'm not sure what they purchased it for. I don't want to ask. I don't want to be too rude. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. Either way, say goodbye to the dog. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, baby. Say goodbye. Bye.